So, got a fault on a ring final circuit that try and put the circuit breaker on, which is that one there. Goes pop, flash, takes out the RCD. Seven new socket fronts have been put on, uh, and one of those was tripping this one. So we've got this one is on the left side of the house, this is on the right side of the house, upstairs and downstairs. Uh, and these two are doing other things, which I'll come to in a second. Uh, on Saturday, we found one socket with a damaged neutral and the socket front was shorting on the back uh, plate. Sorted both those out. This one then not causing any more problems on the right side of the house, fine. This one did on occasion went off on Saturday. We were, I believe that was to do with the fault that was going on over here. This one then went off on Wednesday, early Wednesday morning, and we've not been able to get it on since. So, I've what I've done is I've identified the neutrals, the earths, and the lines. So the lines have come out. And the neutrals came out. It was interesting that the neutrals, the pair of neutrals that were in over here, weren't the pair of on the ring. Uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Join the two lines together. Got a reading of 0.42. Did the two neutrals. Got a reading of 0.42. Did the CPC. When I got to the CPCs, however, I found the CPCs were sleeved together but on completely different circuits and one of the earths that it was sleeved with actually goes to this one which went to the garage or goes to the garage which is the other neutral that was tied together with the other neutral that went to the ring uh, well, i think i'm following that so i've separated those two earths and When I put the two earths together on the ring, so I could be able to identify the two cables going to this ring, did those did that CPC reading that came out at 0.69, it should have come out at 0.7. So that's pretty good. Uh, next stage was to do the figure of act test, which is what this is configured for now. And that should have come out uh, for the line and CPC. Line CPC should have come out at around 0.57 if I remember rightly. Put that on my calculator. It did come out at 0.56, I think. The line R1RN reading came out at 0.2122 and it should come out at 0.21.22. So there's the ring final tests have come out that there is appears to be no fault on that socket circuit there should be no reason that the mcb should be tripping none at all except for the fact that for some odd reason the garage circuit was tied to this circuit what looks like by mistake so the earth was joined to the earth of the ring outdoors so if there was a fault on the garage circuit, an earth fault, it could be affecting this ring. So what I'm gonna do, so the so the garage earth is this one, is that one. And the garage neutral is that one. And the line for the neutral I still got plugged in. So, my thought is I'm going to take the line out of that of the garage that's so totally isolated and I'm going to take the neutral out of that so the, the garage circuit is totally isolated then and I'm going to plug back in all these back into the um, ring MCB and we'll see if it comes on. Uh, if it does and the fault that's caused this problem is actually elsewhere in the house. It's actually nowhere near this circuit, but we don't know that until I do it. Um, it's been a confusing one, this one.
I don't think that was done by design. That seemed to me by that those two Earths CPCs were joined together by mistake. I can't see why it would have been done that way. Anyway, so we'll get all these off, get it all, get the garage circuit isolated, get these all plugged back into where they belong. Uh, and we'll see if we can get that ring to stay on. Okay, still on this ring final fault. And we're just going around trying to work out where this fault might actually be. So I was wrong with the garage circuit. It was actually the water heater circuit that was mixed up with the ring. So I've separated that off. Uh, but still had the MCB tripping along with the RCD. So, methodically went round uh, disconnecting any potential load that we've missed and then reconnecting them. So, all the socket fronts came off, uh, disconnected the emergency um, immersion heater, the shower pump, got those all back on. They were all fine started getting the socket fronts back on so far no problem come to this one and this one i'd missed last saturday because it's actually around the back of the cable you might actually see it there that cable is actually broken actually inside the actual thing is actually broken inside i'm not saying that's where the fault is that's another cable broken. I found a neutral cable broken in another socket on Saturday, which I, I dealt with. That is going to, I can't repair that. That's going to have to be cut and I'm going to, have to splice a new bit of cable onto that. Uh, but as you can see, that's burnt, singed and all sorts. Could be the smoking gun, quite literally. Don't know. Um, but that was hidden right away. I didn't even see that the other day. Um, so, yeah, so it just goes to show when you're fault finding this stuff, stuff can be just hidden away. Um, I've had to take the top and bottom lugs, well, the top lugs off because they were also shorting out the, the new socket front. Uh, the BG instructions do actually say that if you've got metal back boxes to take off the top and bottom, the top and bottom lugs because they will actually potentially touch the terminals, which is what was happening. So, but that, that is a broken cable. And I really have to check around all the cables. The one next to it is fine. But it's possible that could be what's been causing the problem on this circuit. I don't know for sure, but another two sockets to go yet. <sighs> right, so we're all back up at the moment. Uh, turns out there might have been a couple of faults, all with the sockets, new socket, well, the behind the socket actually. As I showed you earlier on, the burnt cable. Uh, so I think there was a couple of different ones, different faults all at the same time. Uh, we've got a socket on a different circuit, which I found out when I got electrocuted. Um, but it's up for the moment, so I'll just keep an eye on it and see if it stays up. Uh, yeah. Ow, my hand hurts after that shock. Anyway, I think we'll head off on this one. <laughs> 